Okay, today I'd like to do something a little different. I'd like to introduce you to uh, a very famous statistician. Uh, his name is Hirotogu Akiki. And his picture is shown below me there. Uh, he was famous for coming up with the Akiki Information Criterion. And he used information theoretic approaches, maximum likelihood, and Bayesian approaches to trying to come up with a, a, an objective way to decide between model fits. And the basic notion of a Keiki's information criterion is that by adding, continually adding parameters to the model, we will always fit a little bit better, but we are also um, trading off against overfitting and actually losing uh, information about the real underlying pattern. Um, so it, it represents a trade-off between the number of parameters you add and the increase or the incremental amount of error um, that you're accounting for by doing so. And so <clears throat> uh, last I checked, the original AIC paper was cited more than 22,000 times. Um, that's incredible. It's an incredibly high citation rate. So kudos to Hirotobu Akiki. He died, by the way, on August 4th, 2009. He was known as a very humble man, never satisfied with the research career that he had, his contributions. He always was trying, always was trying to do more, apparently even in the hospital. As he lay dying, he was continuing to work. And he's been honored um, by in Japan and worldwide for his contributions. Um, but particularly the Ikeiki information criterion has really proliferated across many, many disciplines in terms of model selection. So how are we going to use it? The way we use it is to decide between, for example, different regression models that we might want to try to explain the relationship between y and x. So how do we do that? Well, we don't actually do the mathematics, but I'm going to quickly show you that AIC equals, and this is a simple formulation of it, there's a likelihood formulation which you can read, um, n times the log of the sums of squares, and this is the error sums of squares that we're talking about, divided by n plus 2k where n is the number of observations, k is the number of parameters, that we have fit, plus one, okay? And then, as I said, s, s is the sums of square error for the model. Okay, and so I'm gonna give you um, an example of uh, some kind of numbers we might get. For example, if we try a certain set of data and we try a linear fit and a polynomial fit, I'll show you just some actual numbers from a real regression that I tried recently. Um, the n in both cases was 20. Uh, k was three, so in the case of the linear fit, we have A, B, and then we add one to that, so we have three parameters, uh, or three, three is the value of K, two parameters, and then the polynomial was a second order, so we have A, B, and C, which we're estimating, and we add one to that, so it's four, and then the sums of squares for the error in this particular regression was 122, for the linear regression, and notice it got smaller for the polynomial regression. <clears throat> and by the way, it almost always will. So every time we add parameters to a model, we'll explain a little bit more because a curved line can fit points generally better than a straight line, and if we allow for inflections, that can fit better than uh, a simple curved line. Okay, so if we apply Akeke's information criterion to this, um, we get an AIC value of 156.17 and for the polynomial regression we get 
0.86. So the question is, what do we do with these numbers? Well, it turns out the model with the better fit has the lower AIC value. Okay, so most statistics packages, including SAS Jump, can calculate this AIC, AIC value for you. In SAS Jump, um, it's kind of hidden in the Fit Model platform, so you won't find it, I don't believe, in Fit Y by X. But if you look under Fit Model and you do the fitting there using our general linear model uh, approach, you'll see under one of the tabs it has an AIC value. And we would then identify by trying these two fits that the linear fit is the more appropriate fit in terms of containing information and not overfitting our data. Okay, Jump also provides you with a BIC, which is a Bayesian information criterion. And I believe, uh, from what I've read, that the Bayesian information criterion penalizes parameters, penalizes the number of parameters, even more than AIC. In other words, it emphasizes uh, simplicity in the models. Okay. Um, also, depending upon the sample size, you may need to correct the AIC value and you'll see a little subscript, AIC corrected. Um, so these are two objective ways of deciding on a model that uh, is most appropriate in terms of having enough complexity that it accounts for additional variation in Y, but doesn't overfit the model as well, given your sample size and given the sums of squares error. Okay, so, Hirotogu Keki, famous man, um, it sounds like a guy would have been fun to have dinner with sometime. All right. Take care.